Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, there's a reason why I'm this excited. Yes, there's a reason why I'm wearing this sweater. I'm freaking stoked because the new Taylor Swift video has premiered, which means I know what my theme is, which means it's amazing and my life is made. Okay, that's it. Life's made, RIP me, and I'm dead. Just kidding, I'm super excited though, okay? Whew, I'm even rocking my T-Swift sweater. This is Olivia, her in case you don't know. In case you're not a Swifty, you should probably be a Swifty. But I don't judge. So, I also made a little reaction video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post that first or if I'm gonna do this one first yet, so. But it's fun, so um, maybe I'll just combine them into all one video. I don't know, we'll see. But. The whole video was so, so beautiful. And it started off with a snake, which if you know, that was like her whole thing. Last era, reputation era, everyone called her a snake. And so she took back the narrative and she, you know, made snakes her thing. And that was the whole, the whole tour was just badass and filled with badass snakes. And it was just awesome. I cannot wait for this tour. So. The whole thing starts out with a snake, and then the snake explodes into butterflies. So oh, beautiful. Pastel butterflies, and then there's all these pastel rainbow colors, like, all throughout the video. It is just so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I'm definitely going to be posting my reaction video here. Um, I just haven't decided if I'm going to do it, like, uh, with this one, or before this one, or after. You might have already seen it when you're watching this. I don't even know yet. I'm just, I'm like, I'm too excited. I'm so, so stoked. So, um, about the video today that I'm doing, right, that I'm going to be, that I'm introing, okay? Let me just get it together. I got Swifty on the brain, all right? My theme is butterflies for me, obviously. I've been waiting for that video to come out just so I could decide my theme, okay? So, I decided to go with the very pastel um, theme and all the butterflies, and it's going to be awesome. So, um, I also wanted to do flowers. I wanted to incorporate flowers in there a little bit because I've noticed a lot of florals this um, this era with, with Taylor and like a lot of poppies and carnations and roses and all kinds of flowers everywhere. So I'm throwing some flowers in and flowers in as well. Now, before I even show you my spread for May, this is exciting because this is the first time I'm actually getting to show you a plan with me for the entire month, which means I did my cover page, my monthly setup, my habit tracker, my mood tracker, my sleep log, my playlist log, and then my weekly setup all in one video, like most people do. But, you know, you guys knew this was a new channel and I wanted to get some videos up and get myself out there. And so I was just doing that every week and I'm still gonna be doing them every week. So I debated on whether I'm even gonna put my my weekly spread um, in this video or not. I haven't really decided yet, but you'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I was very happy with how it turned out. I wanna say, I just wanna say before you even see this, that I'm not an artist, okay? I didn't know how to draw any flowers. Definitely didn't know how to draw a butterfly <laughs> at all. So I just want you guys to know, like when you see the stuff that I do, like if I can do it, then you can do it. Like don't be intimidated because I am not an artist whatsoever. And I was somehow able to create some pretty beautiful things. So just, you, you guys, you can do it, okay? You can do it, all right? Just have faith in yourself and you know, lately I've been really on the whole trying new things flip trend, and I just really have been trying to take the bull by the horns and just, I'm gonna try this shit. I don't know if it's gonna look good, but I'm gonna try it, and I did it, and it turned out pretty good. It was exciting. I um, did a lot of blending with my Tombos, and blah, 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 blah. This is super exciting. Let me just shut up and get into the video of me planning the month of May. Enjoy. Oh, by the way. Uh, Mandel Rachel Lee also is doing butterflies this month. Ah, totally coincidental, by the way. I did not plan that. But she has a great tutorial on how to do butterflies, draw them, color them, all that. Um, her way was a little bit too complicated for me because she's actually an artist and I'm not. So I sort of found like an easier way to do it and um, found it on Pinterest and I've been doing it that way. So if you guys are interested to see that, I will do a little um, tutorial on how I did my butterflies just in case you aren't, in case you want it, you know. So without further ado, let's get on into me planning the month of May. Mwah. 
so the beginning of this accidentally got deleted, but um, <laughs> I was managed to save the end here. Uh, for these carnations, I just use Tombows and then colored in the spots of the flower that would be darker with a darker pink. And then went over it again with a lighter pink and then blended it all together with the Tombow blender. Never even drew a carnation before in my life. Just looked it up on Pinterest. Now here for the butterflies, I chose this little outline and then just sort of tried to blend that. And this one, I kind of was just trying to go a little crazy with the blending and I didn't really love the way the first butterfly came out so I think that's the only one I did that with this one I tried something different um, again I just colored something dark on the outside and then blended it in but I tried little dots and I didn't like the way those came out I also tried the little same design at the top and I didn't love it I think it just looked a little bit neater with just the sides so I think I also scratched that one, and that was the only one I did that for, too. But hey, you had to try it out just to see, you know? Yeah, I tried a couple dots on this one, too. And again, I just I didn't love it. I felt like the look of the butterfly was just much cleaner with just the little lines on the outside. And I think that's what I went for with the rest of the whole spreads. But still pretty happy with how this came out overall, since I had never drawn a butterfly or a flower in my life before this day. So, pretty proud of myself. I will take it. So here, I even tried to blend the stem, and that immediately didn't work, so I just colored it in instead. <laughs> so here I am taking my Pigma Micron and just outlining everything with a black pen to sort of give it that real nice, clean, put-together look. When I, when I drew May, I decided to go with a lighter pink and then outline it with a darker pink and sort of blend it together. And then I went over it again with my white pen, sort of give it a special little look. You can't really tell from the video, but it does look pretty cool. And on the left, I chose a Taylor Swift quote, of course, to go with my whole Taylor Swift butterfly theme. It's from a song called Everything Has Changed with Ed Sheeran. It says, all I feel and my stomach is butterflies, the beautiful kind, making up for lost time, taking flight, making me feel right. Everything else I do seems so fast, but for some reason this seems to take, like, forever. I'm not sure <laughs> why. I always love the look of just the skinny, regular font mixed with the calligraphy. It's always my favorite thing to do. Usually for every cover spread for each month is what I do. And that's pretty much it for the cover. All right, let's stick into those two pages together there. All right, now I went and stuck, I, I decided to go with the binding first because that's always the most annoying part for me to do. It's like so annoying, it's so hard. And then after that, I went and tackled the rest of the boxes. I wanted the boxes to kind of look like they were floating instead of just sticking them all together. That way it kind of goes with like the floating butterfly theme of it all. I chose a lot of different pastel colors this month so you'll see that like my spreads don't contain just one color they're like a lot of pastel colors like a green at the top pink butterfly blue, blue butterfly and then as you see I stuck with just my normal just coloring the outsides and blending it like that because I think it just looks much cleaner overall I always put a little event section in the calendar so I know everything that's coming up for that month in particular but I always keep my month at a glance spread pretty simple. I keep all my spreads pretty simple. And then just a little calligraphy to write the days of the week. I 
So I noticed there was a lot of bleed through here, so that's why I decided to cover it up with a piece of washi. Here I'm doing my mood tracker, and I absolutely am in love with this mood tracker. I just made a butterfly with all these little shapes, and each shape represents e day, a day for a day of the month. I thought there was 31, but turns out there's 32, but that's okay. <laughs> so it should look pretty cool at the end of the month when it's all colored in. I can't wait to see it. Now I'm doing my usual habit tracker spread that I do. I started doing this a couple months ago and it's been my favorite so far. I hated writing in every single number. And then I had just tried a lot of different formats and this seems to be the one that I enjoy the most to look at and to fill out. And I also added a few more extra habits this month because I decided I didn't wasn't really tracking all the things that I think I should have been tracking. So I'm going to try it out and see how it works. And if not, I'll just go back to my normal nine after that. It really isn't confusing not writing the numbers in because as you go along, it just kind of really seems pretty simple and you can kind of figure it out pretty simple. Don't need to waste your time writing all those numbers in. It's a pain in the butt. And then just added my little butterfly doodles at the bottom. Again, just choosing lots of different pastel colors. Some of them I colored in, some of them I just blended. Kind of switched it up a little, you know, got to switch my game up. And the color that I chose for the top of each habit is what I'll color in each box for that day. So here I'm doing the same exact sleep log that I did last month because I absolutely love the way it came out. It was super, super clean. I loved the, just, I love the whole look of it. So I went and did the same exact one. And since the color scheme matched, I even used the same colors. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I used the same sleep log last month and loved it. And then on the right is my playlist for the month that I love to do. It's basically just supposed to look like an iPhone, and then I just add in my favorite songs for the month, which obviously this month is going to be Taylor Swift, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And now it's nighttime. That is how long it's taken me to edit this video, but it's okay. Totally worth it. I did decide I'm not going to share my plan the week, my weekly spread with you guys yet. I'm going to sort of make another video out of that one. And then I will share it with you guys that way and make it sort of a surprise. So if you enjoy my play with me, go ahead and subscribe. And of course, follow me on Instagram at Imperfectly Perfect Planner. Bye guys.